Okay, guys, sorry about that. Got interrupted. Um, then I forgot to turn my camera back on when I got back. You'll see, I, I painted in the, the eyes and the background. Now I'm going to figure out um, positioning for my spider web. I want the eyes to sort of show through some of these the, the two smaller parts here. I'm going to figure out the best one. I don't want to lose a lot of the spider web. I think like that. Then I have this other smaller one. It's just going to kind of go off the page a little bit. And I know it kind of blends in a little bit now, um, but by the time I lighten these up and then paint in some some white um, to make the, the, the web expand a little more, and then I'm going to put on some um, white splatters uh, to make it like a nighttime sky, it'll all blend in, I hope, crossing my fingers. So... The first thing I'm going to do now is adhere these down. So I'm going to get my golden matte medium, get it open. There we go. Get my glue brush. Debating if I should switch to my gel medium. I don't know if that's going to hear very well. Thin enough, but we'll see. I may have to use my gel medium. what happens with that. I think it's going to hold it down, but we'll see.
kind of going over it lightly because I don't want to um, smash the texture that's on the, the spider webs because I want to do something to highlight them more and I need the texture to be there. You'll see in a minute. Providing it works. That's good. I'm going to dry that. Make sure that they're here. Heat gun. Put a little bit more glue right here. guys. A little bit more drying. Heat gun. I just used um, Payne's Gray and White to paint on those earlier.
And I just wanted to touch up a little bit of the white spots. in the reach. the little guy's eyes. I'm going to use my Uniball Signal Pen. I'm going to draw in little beady eyes. So they're looking through. And I just want the white lines to be kind of sketchy. I'm going to dry that. Actually, sorry, prime my reach again. I need to continue this web on this page to make it look complete. Now to brighten up this page a little bit, I thought that I would use some of my Inca Gold to lightly rub the texture on the spider webs to bring it out a little bit. And this color is um, Old Silver. I'm just barely putting any on my finger and just ever so lightly rubbing the textured areas of the spider web, the, the raised areas. Again, these were made with tissue paper and a drawing. If you guys want me to um, do a video on how I did these, 
um, let me know and I will uh, I'll put something together and post it um, but I'm sure you can find tutorials out there or tissue paper um, probably not showing you guys anything new This stuff is, you can clean it up as you can see, if you catch it right away and it's on a non-porous surface. Okay, let me hold this up a little bit so I can see. Yeah, I think that's enough. Just enough to brighten it up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can bring it up to show you. Now I'm going to, again, where's my little mask, just on that, and I'm going to get out my whitewash. I have a fan brush here I use for my splatters. Get away. Now I'm going to take, this is just my credit card, and I'm going to put those like stripy stars. How that looks. Yeah, I think that looks good. What do you guys think? Let me hold it up so you can see it. Let me know. Probably could use a little something else. I'm not sure. Um, but if I think of it, I will add it and I will post a video or you'll see it in my flip through. Eventually I'll have enough place, uh, enough pages completed and I'll do a short flip through to kind of bring us back up to speed. So, okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.